Hi, this is Digital Femme and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the challenges I'm having with my YouTube channel and the challenges I'm having in terms of content, lighting, and sound in general. If you want to know what these challenges are and what my plans are in terms of overcoming them, then continue watching. Hi, I'm glad you stayed. So this is my 20th video in the 1166 day challenge. And what that is, is I'm choosing to do one thing for one hour a day for 66 days straight. And what I've chosen to do is to create a video to jumpstart this old YouTube channel. I've already made a few videos outlining my YouTube journey. At this point in time, I'm still tackling the issue of content. One of the challenges I'm having in terms of choosing what type of content this channel is going to be is number one, I'm not one faceted. Number two, I'm not really a business per se. Although I am a digital strategy consultant, I don't feel like this is what I want to use my YouTube channel for, unless I do. I really don't know at this point. Number three, I really just want to be able to just be me and talk about the things that I love, the things that I care about and that matter to me. And in some way, I also want this YouTube channel to be a sort of place where people can come to, to find comfort, motivation, encouragement and guidance of some sort. Now I'm not a psychologist and I do not have any degree or certification on any type of self-help things, but I am human and I have gone through things that people have gone through as well. And we all know that sharing stories and finding commonalities are one of the important things that binds us together as a human race. I realize that my last two videos aren't exactly general audience friendly. And if you want to know what those two videos are, I'll put the link in the description below. And you'll also be able to access them as end screens towards the end of the video. I also love doing product reviews, but the challenge there is you need to have the product in order to review them. And you definitely need a budget for that. Unless I buy a product, review it, and then return it. Hmm. There are also a lot of things that are happening in the world today that I kind of want to also talk about. Basically, my content challenge comes down to one thing. There truly is so many things that I want to talk about and share that I'm passionate about. And the YouTube standard in terms of creating content as a YouTube newbie is to choose a category of content, get really good at it, build an audience. And once you build an audience, then you can start talking about anything else because you have the audience already. And that's the thing. I don't know what category of content I should focus on. Aside from content, there's lighting. Currently in front of me, I'm using a 10 inch ring light. And on either side of me on various degrees of angles, I have two soft box lights. Is that even the right term? And behind me on the floor is a small lamp that's supposed to act as a backlight. It's not on right now. So I tried the different configurations of lighting in my previous videos. And when I see those videos, I think the lighting is crap. And there's also video quality. So I'm using the front facing camera of my iPhone 11 Pro and I'm filming in 4K 30 frames per second. Do I really need to film in 4K 30 frames per second? I don't know. I'm not going to do 60 because what's the point? But I'm figuring that if I film in 4K and I understand that not everybody can view 4K, it depends on different devices. And in general, what's the point? Because I do upload 1080p to YouTube. I still think the resulting video quality is crap. And it's pretty discouraging when you feel like you have the right basic elements in place, but the end result is just not where you want it to be. It's not even subpar. And then there's audio. So I'm using a Blue Yeti mic for my audio that's connected to my iPhone 11 Pro. And sometimes in the middle of me talking, I realize that sometimes my mouth isn't even near the area of the microphone that it needs to be recording to. I guess I really need to work on the physical logistics of my equipment, right? So yesterday I came across this video titled The YouTuber by YC Imaging. I really liked it. The production quality was professional. The lighting, the different scene setups, the audio. Basically, it's one of those YouTube videos that I personally would use as a benchmark. And then when you look behind the scenes, the type of equipment that YC Imaging uses, it's almost discouraging because in order to get that quality of video, you need a really good camera. You really need to know all about lighting. 
And the one thing that I haven't done and I'm really lazy at is preparing my content and talking points for each video. And the reason why is because I feel like I really want this channel to be a casual me talking channel. And for some reason, preparing topics and talking points somehow doesn't sit right with me because if you go and meet someone at a cafe or just impromptu or you strike up a conversation, you don't have a topic or talking points. The conversation just goes with the flow. But I guess the reality is I really do need to prepare a topic and talking points. Because no matter what I think or how I feel, I know that that's just how it is. And if I really want to produce good videos for people to watch, content is king. Audio is queen. And lighting, I don't know what lighting is. Forget that analogy. Well, that's all I have for now. And if you stay till the end, thank you so much. And I hope that if you're a new YouTuber or thinking about starting a YouTube channel, or even if you're someone who can't imagine even having a YouTube channel, maybe my YouTube journey will kind of like help you or motivate you or encourage you to just find your space to share your voice online. And of course, if you somehow enjoyed watching this video or if this video gave you the least bit value, then consider liking and subscribing. Okay, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.